in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, beloved members of the Living the Word community. Today, we come together to commemorate the life of Saint Florian, a brave martyr whose story embodies unwavering faith and selfless dedication. Revered as the patron saint of firefighters and guardian against fire and water, Saint Florian's influence transcends both time and borders. His martyrdom during the reign of Diocletian serves as a powerful symbol of resilience in the face of persecution, inspiring countless individuals throughout history. Join us as we reflect on the life of Saint Florian, whose legacy of hope and protection endures. In the heart of the Roman Empire, amidst the tumultuous era of Diocletian's rule in the late 3rd and early 4th centuries AD, a figure emerged whose courage and faith would leave an indelible mark on Christian martyrdom. Born Florian, he would later be venerated as Saint Florian, the patron saint of firefighters, and a symbol of hope for many across Central Europe. Though Florian's early life remains veiled in historical ambiguity, his path seemed destined for service. Ascending the ranks of the Roman army, he eventually found himself in a position of authority in Naricum, a province now within the borders of Austria. Little did he know that his journey would lead him to confront the harsh realities of religious persecution. As Diocletian's edicts against Christians cast a shadow of fear across the land, Roman authorities initiated a ruthless hunt for those who dared to defy the state religion. Amid this turmoil, Florian did not retreat in fear. Instead, he courageously surrendered himself, steadfastly refusing to renounce his beliefs. His unwavering conviction echoed through the annals of history. The torments inflicted upon Florian were as brutal as they were unrelenting. Enduring the agony of scourging and the searing flames of persecution, he remained resolute in his faith. Despite unimaginable suffering, his spirit remained unbroken. Ultimately, Florian was cast into the frigid waters of the river Enns, a stone weighing heavily upon his neck. Yet, even amidst the depths of the river, his faith remained unwavering, a beacon of light amidst the darkness of persecution. Miraculously, Florian's body was retrieved from the river by a devout woman who laid him to rest with reverence. His remains found sanctuary in the Augustinian Abbey of St. Florian, near Linz, where his memory continues to be honored for generations to come. In the centuries following his death, devotion to St. Florian spread far and wide, his intercession sought by many in times of peril. From Linz to Poland, his name became synonymous with protection against the ravages of fire and water. Countless miracles were attributed to his intervention, underscoring the enduring power of faith. In 1138, Pope Lucius III bestowed some of the saints' relics upon King Casimir of Poland and the Bishop of Krakow, further solidifying Florian's patronage over the land. His feast day, celebrated on May 4, serves as a poignant reminder of his sacrifice and the enduring legacy of courage in the face of persecution. Throughout the ages, the tale of Saint Florian has been passed down through generations, a beacon of hope for all who encounter adversity. His life, characterized by steadfast faith and selfless devotion, continues to inspire countless souls, a testament to the enduring resilience of the human spirit in times of darkness. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Almighty God, whose servant Saint Florian, during persecution, remained steadfast in faith and courage, we humbly seek your intercession. Grant us the strength to face adversity with unwavering devotion to you, and the courage to stand firm in the face of trials. Bless all firefighters and those who protect us from the dangers of fire and water, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.